Well, hello, 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 my mad scrappers. I'm back with mail call. Let me get that ink out of the way. Um, I got a couple of packages in, and they, like, this one I think came yesterday, and this is from some of the World Scrapbooking Day, uh, Scrapbooking Day, card making sale that a bunch of places were having, so I picked up, I picked them some stuff at Picket Fences. I was having a really good sale. And then, this is not so much, I think, a World Scrapbooking sale, but Crafter's Companion now does a Fiverr Friday. So, everything that's in that particular sale is five bucks, and I could not resist, you know, hello. So, I picked up a fair share of some goodies, so, you know, I couldn't help myself, and there you go. Remember, no self-control. So, let's start off, let me move, let me move this bag. Oh my gosh, and it is heavy, holy cow. Um, and let's start with Picket Fences, because it's the little bag, and it's easier. So, we're just going to cut off the top, because I am just not going to mess around with trying to open the envelope. Even if I try to recycle it, use it later, I can just fold it over. No big deal. Okay. So I got a bunch of stuff. Woo. I got, is there one else? Oh, there's two. Oh, and I picked up. I love one of the things I love. So let's start with that is their sequins. And I have, I still have a bit of this purple in particular to me and I'm, I'm not a purple person, but I made a bunch of cards and I'm still working on it. I'm making cards with the hundred year, um, anniversary, the hundred year popcorn boxes from Disneyland. And I still have some to finish off and I'm running low on the sequins. And this is the exact shade of purple and they had it on sale. Some hello, I got it. And in fact, you guys, if you don't, some of you who are new to me at my channel, don't know what I'm talking about. I will link that video down below. And it's why I just make cards you because I collected all the pop with the hundred year popcorn box. I'm like, there's gotta be something I can do with this. And I did. So, so, so I got this and then I got this sequence set that look how cute it is. And it's got little kitties. I forget what is it to say what the name of it is. It is Halloween, Halloween feline. So of course it's, you know, Halloween-y colors with little cats on it. But our, this is just, I mean, I loved it. I had to have it. So it was really, really, really cute. So I did pick up two of these, their, their sequins. And they have great sequin mixes, so I can't help it. I, you know, when they go on and sale, that's when I pick them up. And then I picked up a bunch of stamps. So this is a really great kind of Christmassy background. Isn't it Christmas it is? Is it my favorite time of year? So there we go. I mean, really, it was so cute. I thought this will make a really great background. And of course, it has gnomes. And you know me and gnomes. I cannot resist a gnome. So I picked this up and I thought this will make a really cute little background. Maybe like in a gold, you know, like stamp it and... and um emboss it with like gold or even white, whatever. On a pretty paper, it will look really, really cute. So I picked that up. And I got a spider one. Again, for now, for Halloween, it would be great. You know what? I could even stamp this in like a really pale gray on the inside of a card and then just write my sentiment or anything over it. That would be very, very cool. But I still, I really, really like this. This is, makes great a great background. So I picked up the spider one. And then I can't resist a chicken. I have a thing for chickens, you know, amongst the thing, I have a thing about many things. So chickens, gnomes, you know, butterflies, I, you know, you name it. I think apparently I have a thing about it, but I've always had a thing for chickens. So I had to get that cute little background again, another background stamp with chickens on it. And then, oh, look, 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 a chicken. <laughs> look how cute this one. I picked up. These were also on sale. So I picked up both the, the, um, the dyes and the, I mean, excuse me, the stamps and the dyes. I I love that. I like, you are one good egg. Hello, baby. Spring has sprung. You crack me up. The chicks are back in town. You are my favorite peeps. I just love that. Look at the little chicks, you know, one crack, you know, it, it is just, that one's doing a little peekaboo. Can you guys see? They're just so cute. And then I got the, I mean, this was really, they were really inexpensive. So they were on there. I think it was a flash sale they were having. So you got to watch for these flash sales, you know, always keep an eye out on you. And that was because I was on their email list. So got, it alerted me like, Ooh, I got to go look. So I did. I couldn't help myself. And then I picked up, look, butterflies. Who is surprised that I picked up butterflies, the butterfly set. They had a couple, but I liked this one. It was small. I go, I, I can't, I love, we can't wait to see how far you will, um, how far you will. Where's the go? There's got to be a go somewhere. Anyway, I, but I just love that. I love the butterflies and there's so many combinations that there's, yeah, so it's what it is. Baby butterfly beauties. I like your happiness brings us joy. Better days are ahead. Look for them. You are simply marvelous. Life is tough, but so are you. So it's me. I love that. I love the sentiments. I love the butterflies. It'll make really great encouragement kind of a cards or whatnot. So let's see what we can do with that. 
And oh, look. Oh, I had to have this. Absolutely. And I can't remember how marked down this was, but I had to have it. Those jack-o'-lanterns, I didn't realize it was that big. Oh, my goodness. But I like Happy Halloween. The, there is magic in the night when pumpkin glows by moonlight. Oh, my God. That'll be great for some of the Halloween cards I've made. But look at that. There's the hair. It's a Harry Potter hat. I love it. But these jack-o'-lanterns are awesome. And these tiny little bats that I can, you know, stamp like on the inside of cards. Just really, really. So it's triple trouble. Ugh. And I got the coordinating dice for triple trouble. Oh, look. Oh, my goodness. So we can stamp the, and look. These are teeny tiny inky dinky bats. Are they crazy? Oh my goodness. Oh my, oh my goodness. We're going to have to do them. But I love that this is just awesome. So anyway, so that was everything from Picket Fences. So let me set that aside. And I love Picket Fences stuff. I, I love her. I have, I have actually TA'd for her in, at the expo. She's just really cool beans. So totally, totally awesome. Okay, so now let's open up this big, this big bag from Crafter's Companion. There we go. I can just go through the top here. So let's just, we'll do it this way. Yes, can I do it? Can I do it? Yeah, once I get it started, I just have to get it started. Uh, this is one of those bags I don't think I'm going to say because, when, okay, if it's a bubble wrap bag, then yeah, it might get, you know, I might try, you might you say it to recycle it. But if it's got that fiber fill stuff in there's that fibery stuff, I swear it's like, it's like asbestos. I don't think it is, but you know. But you know what I'm talking about, nasty stuff. No, no, we're not going to have to use that. Okay, let's pull out the thing that's making this thing heavy. And it's the paper that I bought. What a surprise. But it's interesting. I did not pick up this collection when it was on sale, when they sold it on HSN. And now I picked up all kinds of pieces of it in this sale, in this sale. Uh, it was totally awesome. So I got the Arabian Nights paper. I think a bunch of, I have several pieces, uh, several, I think, I think I grabbed some of their dies. So here, hang on. Give me just one second to slice this open. I have learned that this is the best way to open. I grabbed my little craft knife, but fold it over and that way I don't have sticky, you know, I don't, pull, I don't take the tab off. I just roll it over so that that way I don't have to deal with the stickiness. There we go. And just one more, one more. We're almost there. Come on, coordination. Oh, hang on, I gotta check, make sure I don't, you know, stick it onto paper. But this paper is really, really pretty. And for five bucks, yeah, I picked up a couple of pads. There was no, there was no doubt. So let's look at this paper. Oh my goodness, look at that. That is so. It just, I love. I, I am really into the Arabian motif, and I think I don't know. I, I think it comes from my culture. I don't know why. It just, it just fascinates me. But of course, you know. You know, I'm Cuban, but, you know, it's Iber, you know, it's from uh, the Spanish in me, I think. It's just, but I love it. I've always been fascinated. Oh, my gosh. Look how beautiful. This paper is just gorgeous. This, I, this is like, yep, I am so glad. This is why I picked up. Because this makes great background paper. I can do, I just stack it. I just stack the paper. I try. I've been trying to slow down buying paper because I have so much of it. But this is always super useful background paper. Either, either side. I mean, this, the back of this is to me as as gorgeous as the i mean well okay the front's a little pretty but it's still it is gorgeous i mean it's lo I, oh, I love it i totally love this paper so we're just gonna flip through it but in the front or the back there is no waste on this paper for any kinds of cards totally look at that one. Oh, i love that with the blues and the oranges oh and i love blue blue's my favorite color so okay and why am i flipping through i can do three at a time but, but hang on let me do one there we go so that way you can see the back of the paper. I'm sorry it's sideways, but that way, that's the only way I can get the camera angle right. And now we have this one, and I love it. Look at that with the lanterns or tags. I mean, they look like tags. Don't they look like tags? They're, they're tags because they have the tassels, so I think they're supposed to be lanterns. But way pretty. And, oh, I love this with the moon. And if you can see that, look at that with the, the, the Arabian, with the background. And this paper is just beautiful. It is just really, really gorgeous. Okay, so now we have... Oh, wait, this is a new one, isn't it? No, it's the same one we were just looking at. Hello, Dorcas. All righty, and we have this page. I love it with the pennants and more of the Arabian... I know, light, lights. I mean, the, the town. There we go. The town and the bottom and the, a full moon this night, not the crescent moon. And then look at that, how beautiful the backside is. I love that. There, it's so much... Te there's teal. It is just... I love it. I absolutely love it. So, is that different? Yep, this is a new page. And more again, but now in the blue. 
and still teal and I, it's just gorgeous. This paper is just, wow, I'm so glad I did grab two, two pats. It was, it's been so, to me, very worth it. And here we go, palm trees. So, I mean, that one we can use for anything with that. You need the, you know, the palm trees as a background. Gotta love it. I think that is, no, there's one more page. Oh my gosh, look how gorgeous this is. Oh, with the pinks and the fuchsias and they just like pop. This is like in your face. I love it. So yes, I am really glad that I picked up a couple of these pads. This is, this is so worth it. Let me cut these little tabs off real quick and waste some time on it on camera because this is now is when I have to do it, of course, right? Let me just cut these two off because it's, it's just bugging me. And I'll make it easy. I just have a whole, you know, I have all of these pads, you know, to the left of me. I have a, 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 st a stack, um, oh my goodness, uh, like a paper holder. That, but it's mostly for like office, but I have all my papers in there. And then I have a section on the top of it and I have them standing up. Okay, let's pull all of these. Let's pull these dies out. Because there, I'm going to put them here. I can pull them one at a time. So let's see, what do we got here? Oh, I got this one. This is a guy one. Because we always need guy stamps. And I don't know if this is, is it. Okay. So it is Modern Man Sentiments. So it's the stamp set. I don't think it has the dies. I may have gotten the dies, but I don't know. That was so, you know, last week. I don't, I don't retain what I buy from one day to the next, let alone, you know, a week ago. Hello. Which makes it cool, because then it's all a surprise. I'm like, ooh, I wonder what I got. It's Christmas. Yay. No, that was Christmas was, last, you know, earlier. Oh, and I do have one more piece here to grab, because I got one more straggler Amazon. You know, all this Amazon stuff. There's one, you know, I'm still, I think today, I think, finally got all of the Prime stuff in. Finally, I think. We got, you know, everything came in. I got, a, you know, a new keyboard today. What else came today? I forget. Um. You know, not exciting things, you know. Oh, my new Tim Holtz trimmer. Would you guys have seen this? I have it, but mine is AWOL at my sister's. And I got tired of, you know, keeping not having been able to get over there. So I got this. Just so you know, guys, and I'll link you down below. Amazon right now, because I just ordered this last night, and I got it next day. Um, Amazon has his, this one, the, the medium size one, for $15. $15.99, something really cheap. Because when I paid for this originally, I paid like $22, $23. So... It's marked down, and I think it's kind of, they're still holding over from Prime. So I will link you down below with the link of where I got it, because that's why I just, oh, heck, you know, but at that price, I can have two. And that way, I don't have to worry about it. If I take it somewhere and I leave it behind, I always have my home one. So anyway, back to this. Let's go back to what we were talking about. So let me grab a piece of white paper that I have handy right here. Look at these stamps. Aren't they awesome? And I love it because they're guy, and we don't, I don't have hardly any mail Mail stamp. So you're not old. You're a classic. I love it. That's going to be so for Steve. You know, have a have a spiffy birthday. You know, Mr. Fix It, husband, top bloke. That is so British. Not older, just better. He who has the most tools wins. Ah, it's not my husband. Um, this is a man's card. It has tools on it. Oh my goodness. For the and I did. I bought all the dies that coordinate this way. I'm not think. I don't think I bought the tools one. Now I wish I did. But for the record, you're not old. You're a classic. I love it. You know, dude. Saw it was your birthday. There we go. Touchdown. So there, because they have, I do. I now I remember. I bought several pieces that coordinate with this. So that's sticking in my head. So let's put the stamps away and let me see. Because it's okay. This is, are these it? Yeah, here they are. These are the ones. So let me pull them out. So these are the dies that coordinate with the stamps. So we have a car, or a car. So let me, let me just open all of these up. Give me a second. Where did I just put my, here it is. There's my undo. And I think, did I order my new bottle? No, when I, when this, when I have to, because now as soon as I have to refill this one, I'm going to have to buy a new bottle because I think I have one more refill out of my big bottle and then I will buy it. I should have probably watched for it on Prime. I might've been able to get it cheaper. It's like, you can't think of everything, you know, and I literally went through my, you know, my, my favorites, but apparently I don't have undo in my wish list. And now I do. I need to check that because I should have it. Because that's what I did. I went through all my lists and see what else I might need. That I might be able to get cheaper. So, and this wasn't in it. And because these bought the, the big bottle is not cheap. I when I first bought it, it was like $25. I'm like, okay, now it's like $32. But it's still worth it. You get so many refills out of it. It is massively, massively worth it. So I will do it if I find it. In fact, if I find it, I will link you below. I'll link you below to the big refill bottle of undo. And that's when you just keep your little bottle and just keep refilling it. So much cheaper. And like here in California, we can't buy. We can't get the good undo. If you go like to Michael's or anywhere, you know, 
technically you're not supposed to get and have it because we have this thing with that. So you get the green one, which ain't, which is that just, it ain't good. Anybody's tried the green one? Don't waste your time. So I, you know, I have to order it. So I get it from Amazon. Okay. So now let, now let's go back to these. So let's start with the car. So here are the dies. And of course it does a car. I think it, so it's got all of these pieces that does this old, um, a classic. Remember what the stamp says. You're not old. You're a classic. So, well, it says it right there. See, it's right there. So way, way cool. So these will make great. I need to make some of these up. So we may be seeing those because I need some man cards. And then I picked up this one, the football one, because Steve is all about football. So I like that touchdown game time. That's perfect for him. He loves his football. So And mom does too. They love football. I, I grudgingly watch it. You know, I watch it because I try to be, you know, I, I, I agreed to do this when he was his girlfriend. And I, and I still do it because I want to be, I want to be a good girlfriend and I want to be a good wife. But oof. so I sit there out and then the, out there and I'll be working on something and watching the table and watching the game. I still don't get it. I got tennis, tennis. They dragged me into tennis, tennis on. I totally understand now, but not football anyway. And the last one is the record player. Cause that was too cute. So there we go. For the record, you're not old. You're a cla you're classic. So, I mean, it's very, very, so it has all the pieces to make the record player. I love it. It is so cute. So these are all great. Um, so these are all awesome and they all are together. So let me see, can I fit it into all these little guys into the big one? And that way they all live together and they, I don't have to worry about losing them. There we go. A little thick, but yeah, it fits. Woohoo! All right. Now, what else do I have here? Oh, I got, look, because, you know, little, you know, these are, ah! So all of these, except for this, this one doesn't, so everything else is coordinating with the Arabian Nights. This one is Age of Elegance, Lost in a Book. So pretty. Where, where did I just put my undo? And I really liked it. So I went ahead, and again, $5, people, $5. So... I picked up quite a few things, you know, and it all added up, you know, in the end it adds up $5 at a time, but still. So, you know, it was like a $60, $60, $70 order, but Hey, I'm not complaining. And I get my points. Eventually I'll get up to, I think I forget what percentage. I think I get 10% now, you know, at the level I'm at now. So I got to get up there. So I think, I think the maximum is like 20. So, and Hey, every, every penny that you, you save counts. Okay, so now that I've done all my little maintenance that I do to all of these, because I use them, I self store them in these in their own little envelopes. So there it is. It that's the um the die. So it's an A2. It's an so I was afraid it was gonna be a um excuse me, uh, an F an A7 for a five by seven. So I'm glad that it's a smaller one because you can, if you look at it, it's on a bigger card. So my money is you do put it on an A7. And 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 but it's so so pretty. I love it. I, I really, really, really wanted that look like it's almost like a little bookmark. There's all kinds of little decorative things. So we got that too. We'll see when we use it. So, so pretty. And then the rest of these are all coordinating. We go back to, ah, my gosh, it's a real, the, the packing order is really a weird stickery looking thing. So these are all of the, again, almost, I think I got all of that, all of them. Either all I saw or I didn't see them all or I didn't get them all. I can't remember now, but these are all of the dies for this set for Arabian Nights. So hello, again, $5. You can't go wrong. You know, so it's kind of like one of those things that you, I was, I just, I, I, at that point when it came out, I'm like, no, I'm not spending that much money. Oh, there's one that there's always a couple here. So let's put these outside and we'll do Arabian Nights first. But let me just open all of these up at once makes it easier for me. Although I won't cut them open. I'll just, you know, not waste more of your time. This is, you know, this is enough. Ooh, come on. This one doesn't, hello. I mean, I need to be a little bit more patient because see this one is, come on, pretty. Holy cow. There's always one. I've already poured more than enough. So now I'm going to use the little toolie here. Cause that's what it's for. There we go. See, I knew if I did that. See, the tape is still stuck to it. Stuck to it. There's the tape. Mm -hmm. So no problem. You just get it unstuck. Oh my gosh. I'm trying to throw it away except it's stuck to me. Okay. So I said I wasn't going to do that. So I don't want to waste your guys' time. So this one first is the silhouette. It's the skyline. So it's the silhouette skyline. So you have the one die. It has the crescent moon. It has the stars. And if you look at the sample here, they have it. 
you see two layers of skyline and all it's done is cut in two different colors of paper and then superimpose a little like a skew. So you set it aside. So, and it makes it look very, very, very cool. So it looks like you won't use like several dies and it's just the one die. You've just staggered them. So I got that because that is really, really, really pretty. I just love it. I just, I just, I'm fascinated by all things, you know, Middle Eastern and rap Arab. So there you go. This one I loved, absolutely had to have. And that is the decorated window. I mean, it's beautiful. Look at that. It's just gorgeous. I had, I had to have it. So it's perfect for an A2, but I love it. And here, all of that, I mean, you do it on white paper. I can tell that this is all inked. This is all just blended ink and then done with their background paper and a few sequins and you have a sentiment and you have a gorgeous card. I love it. And see, this works very much because I have people in my medieval group and this would make, this is a card. I can make them a birthday card and it would have that feel that because hello, you know, the, the Arabian, the Crusades. Can we say Crusades? Worst thing that ever happened to the Middle East. But anyway, let's not go there. Um, and then this, as I try to pull it out, is the Arabian Nights Magical Window Scenes. And it is both the dies and the stamp set. So let me pull out my, I just put, set aside my piece of white paper. I will use this card. There we go. So it has all of these silhouettes because you have the window here. So you, I mean, this is like you use a tag or you can just do it on a, you know, um, I don't know why it doesn't have the bottom. To be perfectly honest, I think it should have the bottom. But this, I can match it up with any tag die that I have. So I'm not too terribly worried about that. But you have all the different window silhouettes here for anything that you want to do. So I think that's super. You have, and you have little pieces here, which do they cut out? So there we go. We have the, the, the palm tree. So let's cut out the palm tree. Um, no, the moon, it doesn't, the moon, it, the, the moon and the star. No. So these are just extra pieces. Although this one might cut out one of these, but anyway, I got that. So these are the three pieces that I did pick up from Arabian night. So I'm not disappointed. I, I think I'm pretty darn tootin' happy that for what's not getting something kind of like, eh, paid off. It worked off. Patience sometimes pays. And then I got these two. So these are stamp and dies. They had a bunch of them, but I did not get them all. I just got the two. I mean, I, I can always, you can always use a happy birthday, you know, stamp and die there, you know, that, you, you know, one more in your arsenal just to make things different. So, and then happy Easter. I always can use an Easter, you know, sentiment and it has stamps and the, um, and the die. So give me a second. Okay. Now let me put the lid back on this. Lately, I'm almost using my, my undo more for opening these things than anything else. So let's go with happy birthday first. So, I mean, look at that. That is a really nice size die. And then birthday. So, I mean, that is really cool. You can just take a simple card, some pretty papers. Hello, or even ink it up. That would look really, really awesome. And then die cut that out. And then, and you have your center here, which is where your sentiment goes. And then you have three sentiments. Happy birthday. Have a great day and birthday wishes. And of course they fit right in there. So, so totally cool. I mean, just, you know, you can do it on white and then just color it in yourself. That's not going to be tough at all, but it is so stinking adorable. So again, $5, let me just, you know, let me just remind you guys, these are all $5. So, and oh, look, Friday's coming. It's for, actually it's today. Well, by the time you see this, it will be Friday. Cause this is, I mean, today is Wednesday. No, maybe I'll get it up for tomorrow. No, it'll probably be going up Friday morning. So, so you'll see this and you go to crafters companion. I'll try to link you down below to where Fiverr Friday is and, um, and le let you know, cause I'll be looking again. So, and this one is an Easter one. So here we go with the little flowers and Easter bunny. And then the sentiment right here, it says Easter. And then this, uh, we have stamps, happy Easter, Easter blessings and spring has sprung. I mean, for five bucks, what do you want? Hello? I mean, that makes a really adorable card. You just, you know, you can like, again, cut it, die cut it out in white paper and then coordinate the colors, the flowers to the background paper. Easy peasy. No, no, it can't be easier than that. So that is it, guys. That's my haul for this mail call. Hopefully you enjoyed what I got. I did. I love the, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Where is that? Hang on. Hold on a second because I forgot. I've got that one little Amazon thingy. Hold on.
Okay, it took a little digging, but I found it because it's in this little dinky envelope. But I got one more die, and this was half the reason, like I said, a lot of the orders was because I need trick-or-treat dies. So I ordered this off of Amazon. So it says trick or treat. And I needed one, and I wasn't expecting it. I was, I, it was one of these, okay, I'm going to buy it anyway, and it'll get here when it got here. I didn't think I was going to get it in time for Halloween. And they got it to me in enough time, so I, I'll be able to use it on any cards that I'm still making. So we will see. But anyway, I just wanted to share that with you. Okay, guys, so that was my Amazon buy, and I'll link you down below to where I got it. It was pretty darn tootin' cheap. Okay, guys, so now really I am done. Thanks so much for hanging out with me, okay? And if you enjoyed all my little goodies and that I shopped and you didn't have to spend any money, then by all means, give me a like, drop me a note if you want. And if you want to see more madness, more cards, more shopping, by all means, subscribe and ring that bell and I will be back with more of my crazy, okay? So meanwhile, I want to, I'm going to let you guys go because I got crafting to do and editing to do. So meanwhile, you go out there and craft. Make something beautiful and always remember that what you make and what you give brightens someone's day. So go out there and make a difference with your craft. All right. And as always, never forget, we are all a little mad here. So come on, craft the madness with me. Okay. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.